Hey everyone, welcome to ISO TV with Moray, where you sew and you design. And today I'm going to show you how to make a long sleeve maxi dress. So I just want to take a minute to explain that this tutorial is for die hard beginners. If you don't know anything about sewing, I'm going to go at a steady pace that a beginner without any knowledge will be able to grasp. So if you are advanced, I would suggest this video isn't for you, but if you are a die hard beginner, this is for you. For this tutorial, you're going to need two yards of fabric. I chose a stretch knit fabric. I suggest getting that type of fabric, especially for a long sleeve maxi dress. It has a bounce to it and it's not shiny. It's very matte and I believe that will be the best choice of fabric to get. I'm using black, so you need black thread, a sewing machine, of course, pins and pin cushion, scissors, measuring tape, a long sleeve shirt that fits you perfectly that you do not mind cutting up. To begin, go grab that long sleeve shirt that I was telling you about that you do not mind cutting up and let's cut up the sleeves. This is going to be used as your pattern. It is going to be so helpful, especially if you are a beginner and do, do not know how to properly measure out your fabric. So let's cut the sleeves off. You want to cut right on the seam. Here's your first sleeve. Put it to the side. And let's cut the second sleeve off. Remember, cut right on the seam. Here's your second sleeve. Let's put it I'm gonna to show side. you a little tip that I wish someone would have showed me when I first started sewing. Make sure as a beginner, you get a four-way stretch fabric. Two-way is okay, but as a die-hard beginner, four-way stretch only. Knit, spandex, whatever you choose to buy, make sure it's just a four-way stretch. Here's why. Take the fabric that you're using and find out which way is the stretchiest. If you got a four-way stretch, you won't have to do this step. But for the people that got a stretch that's only one or two ways, let's find out which way is the stretchiest. So take your fabric, stretch it out. Oh, my stretch is pretty good right there. Okay, now let's stretch it this way. Okay, it seems to be pretty much the same for me. I'll try it again, stretch it out. That one is not as stretchy as if I stretch it this way. So this way is more stretchy for me. So go ahead and fold your fabric horizontally that it is the most stretchy. So I have my stretchy part this way. And I have my less stretchy part this way. So make sure, once again, your stretchy part is horizontal and your least stretchy part is vertical. Got it? Now that you have your fabric in the correct position, let's fold it over the edge. I say fold it over the edge because this is the way to use your fabric the most efficient way. You don't want to fold it in the middle and use up all your fabric for no reason. This is a way to keep as much fabric as possible just in case you make some type of mistake. So find the edge of your fabric, see my edge, and fold it down along the edge, on the side. Don't fold it all over in the middle. Fold it from the edge down. Now take the shirt that you cut the sleeves off and fold it in half. Make sure it's even. Take the folded edge and place it on the folded edge of your fabric. So here's my open edge of the fabric and here's my open edges of my shirt. Here's my folded edge of the shirt and the folded edge of the fabric. Got it? Okay. Make sure it's nice and lined up. Now see how much fabric I have left? I hate wasting fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the fabric down a little bit more and put my shirt back over it. All 
All right. Now, I have the folded edge on the folded edge, the open edge on the open edge. And I don't have so much wasted fabric. Look, I have a lot of fabric left. So now we're gonna cut out the front part of our dress by using our shirt as a pattern. This shirt should fit exactly how you will want your maxi dress to fit. If you want your maxi dress to be baggy, get a baggy shirt. If, you're, if you want your maxi dress to be kind of fitted, and that's what I want, and you'll see at the end of this video how it's going to fit, then get a fitted long sleeve shirt or a fitted shirt without sleeves. So here we go, and I'm going to cut it out. Bring your shirt up a little bit to the edge, grab your scissors, and just follow the pattern. It's so easy. So if you want a circle neckline, just like your circle shirt, follow it. Just watch me. Now I'm gonna cut out the sleeves, the armholes. Before I finish cutting, I wanna mention one thing. Make sure you do not cut too close to your seam. Give yourself a good one inch seam allowance for sewing. What that means is leave a good finger width space between you cutting and your seam of your shirt. So leave just a little space. Right here is where my shirt ends. So that's my shirt pretty much ends right at the waistline. So you know you have a little bit of hips coming in. Just cut out a little bit further, about two more inches. Not enough, but if you want yours dress to be real baggy at the bottom cut out more inches it's up to you i just want my dress to be kind of fitted so for now i'm gonna cut out two more inches as i go outward go grab your measuring tape and let's measure how long we want our maxi dress maxi dresses are normally to your ankles so i want mine to be a little longer than my ankle so i'm going to take my measuring tape And I'm gonna measure from my shoulder down to my, I'll say to my toes. I'm getting 55. So we're gonna measure down 55 inches from your shoulder all the way down to 55. That's how long I want mine. You may want yours 53, it's up to you. Using a shirt with no sleeves, we just created the front part of our dress. Look what you just did. Now let's get ready to cut out the back of our dress. And this part should be super easy because you're gonna use the front part that you cut out as your pattern. You won't need to fold your shirt or do that all over again. You're gonna use the same one that you just cut out to cut your second part out. So take the edge of your fabric, again, fold it down, just enough to cut out your back part of your dress. Take the front part of your dress and fold it in half. And put the folded edge along the folded edge of your folded fabric. it all lined up go ahead and cut it all out we have the front part and the back part of your maxi dress almost done cutting everything grab out. one of your sleeves and the folded edge of your sleeve goes on the folded edge of your fabric. So take your fabric along the edge, fold it down just enough that'll measure out your sleeve. You don't need to fold it over too much because your sleeves are a lot big, a lot smaller than the bodice of your dress. So take your fabric or your sleeve and put it along the folded edge. 
And for your sleeves, I would suggest cutting out a little over an inch of seam allowance. Me personally, I don't like my sleeves to be right on my arm. I like that wiggle room. So I like my sleeves to be kind of loose, but not too loose. And I just don't want it, I don't want to have to squeeze into it. So just give yourself a little bit over an inch of seam allowance, maybe two, just to be safe. So let's cut. And I have long arms, so I like to cut mine a little longer than the factory made sleeves are. So I'm just gonna cut maybe an inch more. Here's your cut out sleeve. Take your fabric, fold along the edge one more time. Now let's cut your second sleeve out using the sleeve you just cut out. You don't have to use your sleeve you cut out from your shirt. You want it to be exactly and remember, the same. you don't need seam allowance when you're cutting directly from what you just cut because you want it to measure out the same way. So cut it exactly how you have this one. My friends, we are done cutting. You just completed the hard part. Now everything else is easy breezy, I promise. Now we're gonna prepare our garment for sewing. We're gonna pin down the sides of the fabric. So make sure like sides are touching each other and wrong sides are facing you. So you should be looking at the wrong side of your fabric. I'm using a fabric where it's either or, either side, doesn't matter. But just in case you happen to pick up a fabric that has a right and a wrong side, make sure the right sides are facing each other in the inside and the wrong sides are looking at you. So go ahead and pin your fabric down on the sides and prepare it for sewing. And let's take it to our sewing machine. Today I'm gonna to be using a portable sewing machine that I picked up from a local Joann's. It's battery operated and it can also be used as a traditional way with a foot pedal that plugs into the wall. But I like this because I get to put batteries in it and go wherever I want to sew, but I wouldn't suggest as a beginner to use it because it is a slightly different from a traditional sewing machine. And if you're just trying to get used to a traditional one, I don't wanna complicate things with getting a portable one. So go ahead and put your sewing machine on zigzag stitch and let's go. All right, so your side should be sewn down now. Now it's time to sew the shoulders at the top. Now grab your sleeves and let's get ready to sew that down. Zigzag stitch also. Now here is where I need you to pay attention. We're going to sew the sleeves on the dress. It's not hard. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. So keep your bodice of your dress inside out. Keep it inside out. Get your sleeve that you just finished sewing and turn it right side out, meaning make the pretty sides face you. Right side out. So make your bodice of your dress inside out and make your sleeves right side out. Now take your sleeve and tuck it in the armhole of your bodice. and you just make it match up. So you find the part that's shorter at the bottom part of your bodice. And the part that is longer on the sleeve needs to go to the shoulder of your dress. Okay, I'm gonna repeat. Make the long part of your sleeve attached to the shoulder part of your dress. And make the short part of your sleeve touch the bottom elongation of your dress, okay? Pin it all together and make sure the seams connect to each other. So I like to start pinning with the, sleeve, the seams first. So I pin the bottom and the top first, and then I pin the sides down. Now just take it to your sewing machine and zigzag stitch it. Simple, start with the seams. 
that's the easiest way because you don't want your sleeve seam to be crooked you want it to be perfect so start with that we're in our final stages it is now time to cut out our neckline I want a circle neckline so I will fold your fabric in half and go up to the neckline and just cut Now we're going to hem our raw edges. In order to hem, all you have to do is go to the seam of wherever you want to start your hem and fold once and then fold again. They do not have to be big folds. Just fold over as small as you can and pin it. Hem all raw edges, the neckline, the bottom of your dress, your sleeves at the end, anything that has an exposed area that is raw, you want to hem that. And after you're done hemming, let's look at our final work.